Well, who saw this one coming? Hello there guys, my name is Coast Child, welcome to this video. Now today, we're going to be talking about some news that's just broken as of a couple of minutes ago from where I'm sitting, but releasing it now. It is the news that Drayton Manor Theme Park in Tamworth have gone into administration. Now, this is a currently developing story, so there will probably be another video in the next few days to talk about more details as to why this has happened and what the possible next steps are in terms of and what who's going to buy the park and things like that but I'm going to share with you an article from Ride Rater big shout out to you guys for the information on this it's the first sort of details not massive details but it's like the first couple of paragraphs announcing the news now I was tagged in a post on Facebook about this and the news just came out and today we're just going to share in this video, first reactions, what I think, what I hope should happen, what I think should happen, and things like that. So, before we get started, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers as quick as possible. Uh, but for now, guys, I, I can't really plug anything else in this video. I can't plug anything else. I just need to talk about this. So, let's have a look at the latest information and let's see what has been happening. So according to Ride Rater, Drayton Manor has filed notice of his intent to appoint administrators. Ride Rater understands that the Mellors Group, which took over Fantasy Island in Skagness in 2016, was positioning itself to acquire the Staffordshire theme park. There's reports going around that the group are no longer involved despite registering the company Drayton Manor Operations Limited on 13th of July. This page covers a developing story and is being updated with the latest information. Make sure you refresh the page for the latest version. So there we go. Again, like I said, not much details at this stage. Uh, but what I can say to you is just I'm going to link it in the description down below. The Ride Rater website of that link, I'm going to link it in the description down below. So you guys can keep refreshing the page yourself. But let's talk about my thoughts on this. So we only released a video like what a month ago or like a month a month or so ago Saying that Mellors were rumoredly in talks to buy Drayton Manor and we talked about the Mellors group We talked about this Drayton Manor operations limited company that was set up and I said oh I think it could be a very exciting time because Mellors group have done really well turning Fantasy Island situation around Maybe they could be in line to buy it potentially obviously it wasn't confirmed at this stage and reports going around saying that Mellors aren't in line to buy the park anymore, which is really, really sad. Now, it's a bit difficult to talk about next steps because, of course, the reports are saying they're going to be appointing administrators. I, I don't know what to think of this. Um, Drake Manor, I mean, it's got such a history, this park. Absolutely such a history. Um, it's got so many fantastic attractions like Apocalypse, which is, in my opinion, the best drop tower in this country. One of the best drop towers I've ever done. Uh, Shockwave, I haven't got a chance to do that one yet, but I've heard some decent reviews from this stand-up coaster. It is the only stand-up coaster in Europe. Um, you know, there's plenty of other great rides around the park. Air Race, I haven't done that yet, but I've heard some good reviews from that, manufactured by Zamperla. Stormforce 10, amazing uh, water ride, log flume, uh, of course theme to the lifeboats, replacing the original sort of log flume. Um, we had the haunting, now I did the original haunting before its refurbishment a few years ago. So I remember that ride, I remember Pirate's Adventure, that was an amazing dart ride. Thomas Land was like the big expansion back in 2008, replacing the old Robinson's Land, sponsored by the Robinson's Juice Drink Company. Um, which like a, it wasn't any Robinson's themed rides really. It was just like a collection of kids rides and temporary rides like the you know those little Cadbury pirate ships that you see on the pier or something in Cleethorpes. It was one of those and there was like a Pinfari as well at like the Super Dragon uh, and there was loads of these rides. They closed them all, brought in Thomas Land in 2008 and you know I've said it for the last few years. Thomas Land is fantastic for the park, but I did feel like the need to invest in other parts of the park, but. After this administration news, I don't know what the future is for the park. Again, M and D's, you know, they they've been given the go ahead to reopen because they're they're now out of administration. They've got something working now. Whether it is the old company or not, I don't, I don't you know, whatever. They're still going to open, which is great for business. Um, Wick Steve Park, obviously, they're still going through some process at the minute, so hopefully they can find some funds to keep the park going uh, and get it ready for its anniversary next season. And this one, Drayton Manor, I really hope someone comes along and buys the park. Now, who exactly, I do not know. 
There is a lot of groups out there in the world of theme parks that could buy this park. Now, obviously there's the owners of Pleasurewood Hills, which I believe are called the Looping Group, or Loopings Group. Um, there's a lot of European parks that could maybe invest in their first UK park. Um, not someone like Parque Renudos, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, they're too busy with their other parks, but I think there's some other U UK and European park groups that could buy the park. Um, but obviously it's tough. I mean, obviously we don't know yet what the factors for this administration are. We know that, I mean, COVID probably will be a factor in this, um, COVID-19, but... You know, what other factors were there in this decision to appoint administrators because the owners of this park have been operating the park since, you know, pretty much it first started. So, you know, Drake Manor's going through a really, really dark period. I mean, we had those floods in February, then COVID began about a month later, and it's just been downhill since then. So, you know, hopefully someone will come along and buy the park. And I think whoever comes along and buys this park needs to put the right investments in now with drayton manor i think it was very very clear uh over the last couple of years last few years that we're going to go down a more family route with less thrill rides so you had things like g-force going um you had different family rides being being put in and there was like some pay-to-play attractions as well there was like a pay-to-play attraction on the old ferris wheel site um, you know, there's there, there wasn't much, you know, thrilling investments. So, I really hope that someone comes along and buys this. But it's someone who focuses on detail, on theming, on thrill rides, just as much as family rides. You know, I, I can't remember the name of it, but the owners of Trips Drill, someone like that that could put in rides and attractions that focus on theming, on story, but also put in a decent, you know, thrill level of attractions. Look at the, the two Vacomas that are going in, at, that went in a Trips Drill, and you look at the two that are going into Tato Park in 2023. Those type of attractions, they've got the boomerang, but why not the STC? Something like that would work very, very well at Drayton Manor. And I really hope someone comes along and buys Drayton Manor because I think that it's a part that's got a lot of potential. The Excalibur Lake, a lot of potential on that site. Pirates Adventure, a lot of potential on that site. G-Forces site, a lot of potential. Uh, there's other attractions, Splash Canyon, get that reopened, get that rethemed. Or if you can't, if you haven't been given permission to reopen it yet, demolish the ride, put in a brand new Rapids ride. Look at Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City that's open now. Uh, look at that ride experience and use that ride experience as an inspiration for your own version for the UK. The UK's first elevator lift rapids ride. Someone with a lot of money come in and buy this part because this has got so much potential in it. Uh, but for now at least, all we know is there's going to be administrators appointed. Uh, reports are saying Mellor's group aren't going to be involved in the project anymore despite setting up that operations limited company. And yeah, this is a very, very dark time for Drayton Manor. So let's all go out and let's, once the other parks start, obviously the parks are reopening still, but you know, the smaller parks that haven't got as many visitors as the big Merlin chain theme parks, let's go out and support them because it's very important to support the local parks and support the smaller parks because you never know who could be next. Because um, obviously M&D suffered the fate of administration there, you know, in the clear now. Wixdee Park, they're going through something. Drayton Manor now going through something. So you never know who could be next. It could be Lightwater Valley. It could be Flambards because they're both owned by the same company. So if Lightwater went into administration, Flambards would do the same. You know, support these parks because you never know which one's going to go next. And whoever, you know, the administrators are, have someone help buy Drayton Manor. Let's not let another part like American Adventure, like Camelot, like Pleasure Island, let's not let another park go downhill. And just like the plans for Pleasure Island, let's not let a park get shut down, demolished, and replaced by something that isn't worth the time or place. Because, to be honest, I've seen the plans about Pleasure Island Cleethorpes. All it is, is like a hotel, some restaurants, and some walkabout space. That is not a replacement for Pleasure Island, in my opinion. That is just filling in for the industrial business. That's nothing, you know, entertainment-based. Pleasure Island was a cornerstone of Cleethorpes. Drayton Manor is the cornerstone of Tamworth. Yes, you've got Alton Towers in Alton, Staffordshire. But this, in Tamworth, Staffordshire, is a cornerstone attraction and an entertainment um, investment for the area. So... 
you know, you need this park. It was like ship to lakeside. You needed American Adventure because it had so much history and it brings so much. It, it in the glory days, it brought so much to the economy, and you know, more of these smaller family-owned parks are going down and down and down, and that shouldn't be the route. It's like it's like it's like football, for instance. You know, it's turned into a business rather than something that's full of passion. I worry that theme parks will go down that same route and we're, gonna just, we're just going to get business owned things that think about the brands and things like that, but don't actually think of, you know, the cost. Well, well, obviously they do think of the customers, but I do worry that they're going to go down a very dark path and the smaller family owned parks are going to go out of business and that shouldn't be the way forward. It should be everyone included in the same boat. We should be a a social society and a social business rather than a greedy business so you know hopefully someone comes along with a lot of passion and buys Drayton Manor you know either runs it 50 50 with the with the family that owns Drayton Manor or own Drayton Manor or someone comes in and completely takes it off them but allows them to be like ambassadors or some kind of helping hand in the running of the park so I really, really hope someone comes along and buys Drayton Manor because there's a lot of potential with that park, especially with attractions outside of Thomas Land. And I think we do need someone to buy Drayton Manor and bring some success back to that park. So there we go, guys. So obviously, there's not much funny stuff to put in this video. It's not an entertaining video. This is pure facts, this video, because, you know, this has just made me a, a very, very sad because I went to Drayton Manor in 2011. Uh, it was a fantastic visit, absolutely fantastic visit. Original haunting, storm force, many different attractions. I think, I think, if I can remember, I think I did the old attraction before it was replaced by Air Race. I think that was the uh, indoor waltzer, Black Revolver. I think I did. I, re I think I remember doing that. So that was a classic attraction that I remember doing. Um, the drunken barrels, they were fantastic flat ride. Um, the haunting, like I said, the original haunting was a great dark ride attraction. It was like, you know, it was like having another hex. It was brilliant. Um, you know, and so many other fantastic rides in that part were just brilliant to see, brilliant to watch, brilliant to, you know, be a part of. Splash Canyon is a fantastic rapids ride. If that can't reopen, bring in a brand new rapids ride with a lot of safety procedures but still make it unique to the country. You know, I think the investors that are going to come, if any investor are going to come in and buy Drain Manor, they need to look at the future. They need to look at what's what's new for the country and what could be invested in this park that makes it different and makes it unique. You know, uh, keep the whole Drayton Manor branding, but just boost it up a bit, you know, modernize it a bit more. So, you know, I hope someone comes along and buys Drayton Manor. I hope that like M&Ds, Drayton Manor gets to survive you know i don't want this to be another park going downhill so um yeah so please get the message out there get all the theme park groups in the world to buy drayton manor i don't care whether it's you know six flags or the loopings group or anyone in europe or in anyone in america i don't care if it's cedar fair you know get six flags or cedar fair to buy their first uk park i don't care someone buy drayton manor because it's such a historic park and it deserves to stay in the country really so uh, thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell, Kit on the Coast Live. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video uh, very, very soon. We've got uh, the second part of the uh, top 10 UK theme park music countdown that we're going to be uploading um, this evening. So uh, we've got that coming. Obviously, follow up videos from this news will come over the next few days, hopefully, when we get more details about it. And uh, some other fact files and close but not forgotten videos will be recorded and uploaded as well. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Have a nice day.